Hi folks. Hi folks, it's good to be with you today. Uh, we're sharing the word of God today. Uh, the electrical mic has gone, so we're using this today. And I hope this is a blessing uh, to you. Uh, we're reading from John 17. These words spoke Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy Son. He says, Glorify thy Son, that thy Son also may glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him, as this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Life eternal is to know Jesus Christ, and through knowing Jesus Christ, you can know God. He says, I have manifest thy name unto the men which thou gavest me unto the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them and have known surely that I come out from thee, and they have believed that thou descends me. And the question that you need to ask yourself is do you believe the words of Jesus Christ? Do you believe the words of Jesus Christ? Do you believe the words of Jesus Christ? Do you believe what Christ has said? Christ said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words will not pass away. Christ said that he had the glory with the Father. And do we believe the words of Christ? Do we trust the words of Christ? In John 17, the Lord Jesus is saying that he had the glory with the Father in heaven. And that he is coming to present himself as the Saviour. And the one who died on that cross as your Saviour and as your Lord. He is the one that gave his life. And his words are life. He said, I give you life more abundantly. He said, I am the vine, you are the branches, and you've got to bear fruit. He said, I am the light of the world. These are the words of Christ. Christ offers himself to you today. And he wants you to believe those words, the words of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And Jesus Christ is the one who came down from heaven. In uh, Philippians chapter 2, it says, He thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation. So the Bible says that he was equal with God, that he was God in the flesh. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says that he is the Son of God. The Bible says that he is God. Jesus said at the end of the Gospel of Matthew, go into all the world and baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Father, in the, na in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Which shows that Jesus Christ is God. The Bible says in John chapter 1 verse 1, In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. So the Bible says that Jesus is God. So His words are life, there's only life in Christ. These are the words of eternal life that can get you into heaven. They are the, eternal, they are the words of eternal life that can bring you salvation and bring you washing and cleansing and forgiveness. These are the eternal words of God. And they can give you life today. If you want that life, if you want that joy and peace today, all you have to do is believe in Jesus Christ. All you have to do today is believe that Jesus Christ is the one that died on that cross and gave his life for you. He died on your behalf and his words are life. There are no other words to heaven. There's no other way to heaven. 
There's no other words that can help you, no other words that can save you, no other words that can bring life to you, no other words that can bring salvation to you, but these are the words of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the one that can get you to heaven. Who else can get you into heaven? The bank can't get you into heaven. Barclays Bank can't get you into heaven. Halifax can't get you into heaven. No bank here on the high street can get you into heaven. No bank can get you into heaven. No bank can get you into heaven. The only thing that can get you into heaven are the words of Jesus. And the words of Jesus are pure. The words of Jesus are life. And they are life where you will have life more abundant. The media cannot get you into heaven. The BBC cannot get you into heaven. ITV cannot get you into heaven. Channel 4 cannot get you into heaven. These media outlets, Sky TV, Channel 4, the BBC, they're all lying to you. They're all telling you lies. The army, they're all lying to you. They're all lying to you, bro. They're all lying. They're telling you lies. BBC, Channel 4, ITV, Sky TV, they're all telling you lies because the only one that can save you is Jesus Christ. The only one that can save you is Jesus Christ. The only one that can deliver you from sin is Jesus Christ. The only one that can give you hope is Jesus Christ. Only Christ can save you and bless you his words are eternal life, they are truth, and only they can bless you. The words of the BBC are pure lies. The way, I'm the, need, I'm need, Jesus, like that. Yes? Come and talk to me then, bro. The BBC tells you lies every day. ITV tells you lies every day. Liar! You fucking liar! They tell you, watch out! <laughs> <laughs> The BBC tells you lies, ITV tells you lies, Channel 4 tells you lies, Sky TV are telling you lies, there's lies on the media every day, you're swallowing those lies, but the word of God, the Bible, is telling you the truth doesn't tell you lies, it's telling you about heaven and hell, it's telling you about Jesus, it's telling you about salvation, it's telling you about how to get to heaven, how to find heaven, how to find hope, how to find salvation. Jesus Christ is not telling you lies, he's telling you the truth. But the BBC is telling you lies. The ITV are telling you lies. Channel 4 is telling you lies. Sky TV are telling you lies. They are pumping out lies every day. But the Bible is telling you the truth. The Bible is telling you about heaven. About salvation. About how to get to heaven. And there's only one way to heaven. And that is by believing in Jesus Christ. There's no other way to heaven but by Christ. I defy anybody here today to prove that evolution is true. I'll give you 10 seconds for any scientist here to come and prove to us that evolution is true. Any scientist with a PhD, come here and prove to us that evolution is true. I'll give you 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. No scientist has come to prove that evolution is true. You know why? Because it's a myth. You believe in lies in the school. The school is telling you evolution is true. They are pumping out lies. They are pumping out lies to the youth. They are pumping out lies to the young people. The universities that tell you that evolution is true, they are lying to you. They are pumping out lies by the bucketful. The media
media, the schools, the colleges, the universities, and Parliament has been lying to you. Parliament lies to you all the time, telling you that morality that is evil, making laws that are evil things to do, and making laws and making it right, that which is evil is a lie, and the Parliament is lying to you. There's lies everywhere. But this book, this book is not lying. It's telling you that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life. It's telling you that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven and you'll never get to heaven by listening to Parliament. You'll never get to heaven by listening to the media, the BBC, Channel 4, ITV. You'll never get to heaven by listening to college the university and the schools because they're all lying to you. There is only one way to heaven. Only one way to heaven. Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Postmodernism is a lie and every ism is a lie but he, Jesus, is no liar. He is the truth and he is the life and he is the way. The only way to heaven is Jesus. The only way to heaven is Him. Jesus Christ came to die. Do you want to ask a question, brother? No. You don't understand. You're Italian. Well, Christ died on that cross for you, my friend. He gave His life. Hi, brother. Christ died. The only way that you can be saved is to know that Christ died on that cross. You see, it says we are justified by faith in Romans chapter 5. It says, I'm, I'm ready for you. <laughs> Careful, I'll catch you if you fall. Romans chapter 5, it says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into the grace. You all right, what? I can't have a go at that. A conversation. A conversation in front of the camera. I don't understand it, mate. No, I don't understand it, bro. What's up? What's up? I'm scared of my friend. Do you want to debate, bro? So we have a debate. Have a debate. Come and have a debate. We have a debate. debate. Have a debate. Are we having a debate or what? Stand here then. Let me take your mic off. Stand there. Ready, please. Ready, Stand there, mate. Okay. What? 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 What do you believe? I like the moving, moving. Yeah, I like the moving, moving, moving. What do you believe, bro? I don't believe. Are you an atheist? You believe in God, though. Okay. So. We're nearly halfway there. Right, but you were saying BBC lies. They do lie. EastEnders is not a lie. Not with the news. EastEnders is not a lie. I'm on about the news, bro. What about the news? The news. The news. Nobody watches the news. Let me ask you a question. Nobody watches the news. Let's just do a break. Let me ask you a question. What do you think about Jesus dying on a cross for your sin? What do you my sin? I didn't fucking do it. I wasn't involved. Okay. You might. Know, my I, sin. Let me ask you a question. Black man. Have you ever lied? I've been lying, lying all the time, every day lying. So what does that make you? A liar. But when God meets you, what's he going to do to liars? I'm not going up there, I'm not going down there, me bro. Listen. I'm being me, Jenny Mitz, there's you. Wait, wait, I'm, at least I'm, a, I'm a horrible person. My name's James. My name's James, bro. Alright, nice to meet you. I'm a horrible person, man. I am not going up there, I'm going down there, bro. Yeah, but he died for you. Christ died yes, on that cross for you, man. So you can be saved. You're not going to go down there if you believe in Jesus. You can't not save me. Bro. Why don't you give your heart to Jesus right now and get saved? I died, bro. We've got no heart. Well, he's died for you right now. He's died. He died for you. And if you believe him right now, you can be saved. You can be saved right now. Everything that you've ever done wrong, wash clean right nah, now. Because I'm still doing it. No, yeah, but you can be changed, mate. You can be changed. You can. God can change you. He can give you a new life, mate. Hey, bro, can God change you? can change it. He can change it. Right. He can change it.
Yeah. You've got to change it. Yeah, you can change oh, it. Oh, why? You, you're sticking to it. No, you can I change it. I used to be there. It can blast oh, you. I used to be there. You've been there? Yeah. yeah. So it can change it. You can change it. You can change it. It's not too late. It's never too late. I committed a 10 round robbery over there, man. So I changed me so you can change you. I used to go in Oldham, I used to go fighting in Oldham every week. So he, he died for you. He did, died man. For you. He, he didn't die for me, did he? He died for everyone else that was alive at this time. No, he died for you. Have you ever murdered anybody? You've ever murdered anybody? The Apostle Paul, listen, murdered me. He was called Saul, and he went round murdering me. Guess what? One day, he was walking to Damascus to murder people, which he'd already murdered them. But he saw Jesus and he changed. And he changed his name. Listen, Jesus changed his name from Saul to Paul. I'm going to just ask you one question, yeah? How long? Fuck, yeah. A man, yeah, got the power to change someone. Please answer me that. Because of the power of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God, where at night, listen to this. At night, Nicodemus, a rabbi, came to Jesus. And Jesus said this, you must be born again. And Nicodemus said, how can a man be born a second time? And Jesus said, you must be born again. Spirit gives birth to spirit, flesh gives birth to flesh. You need the spiritual man inside you, the spiritual life of the Holy Spirit. And you can change. I promise you. You got more by a drum than you see Yeah, no, no. It's bad. Just watch out. That was your fault, Just watch out. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll get done, I'll get done. But listen, we've got two ways to go. You've got a way going down this way, fighting whatever you do, and it'll lead nowhere. Or this way where God can change you and you can start doing what I'm doing. You can be a preacher. You can be a preacher. You might be one day. You never know. You've got it in you. God will change you and make you a man after his own heart. Alright, take care. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. That's the same thing. That's why I'm just asking you. I'll give you one. Oh, you've got one. Oh, is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.